Good morning. In case you couldn't tell, I'm here with the Jaguar F-Type. This is the 2018 four-cylinder model of the F-Type. Yes, they do make a, uh, an F-Type with a four-cylinder. It's two liters, turbocharged. This is the entry-level model of the range. You can also get the F-Type with various six-cylinder and eight-cylinder engines with more power. But one thing that ties them all together is the same basic beautiful styling, that fast dramatic roof line, the nice muscular sculpted exterior. Let's get a hero shot with the city in the background. This is just one of those cars that looks good from pretty much any angle. I would say that's the best angle of this car, but it's not an easy decision. And up top, there's a uh, fixed translucent uh, moonroof panel with a retractable interior shade. Of course, you've got the powered rear hatch, these really dramatic scalpel-like taillights. One of my personal favorites, center exhaust. Four-cylinder or not, it's sexy. Now, let's take a look under the hood. So this is what the F-Type's giant hood covers up. Two liters, four cylinders, turbocharged. Output is 296 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. So neutrals, as you can already tell, are a big part of this car. It's white on the outside and then black and silver tone trim throughout. Steering wheel, just the right size. And then these, uh, leather and fabric seats not heavily bolstered you got your nav screen infotainment setup right there climate controls push button start more hvac and other features below shifter for the eight speed automatic with sport mode and then right here is a fun place you get your uh, snow rain and ice mode up top you just uh, flip the switch up there in bad weather and then in uh, on the bottom you've got your dynamic mode which makes the car more responsive snappier more aggressive electronic parking brake auto start stop uh, controls control for the rear spoiler traction control and then this uh, volume knob right there given how many knobs they have in the middle I wish they would have found space for the volume knob and especially a tuning knob so now it's time to drive this there is interior noise uh, particular road surfaces the uh, road roar uh, is pronounced when I drove the F type R and the SVR I thought oh okay well these are the super uh, high performance focused high strung models so you know they're of course they're gonna ride like this but that stiffness and the uh, kind of rough ride is a part of this car as well for somebody who's looking for you know a car that looks great that is indulgent but not hyper expensive and that you know has a decent amount of power I think this is a good fit I mean it's beautiful it looks like a sports car it has a decent amount of features uh, this particular one's got Bluetooth blind spot monitoring um, Navigation, all the usual stuff, heated seats, heated steering wheel. Yeah, it just wants to go. <laughs> Compared to the SVR and all that, yeah, it's not a whole lot in comparison, but for a baseline, it's it's great on paper and it's good in real life too. The responsiveness from this is is surprisingly snappy. Getting the four cylinder in the F type, it doesn't feel like a penalty. It doesn't make the best sound at low speeds. It's kind of guttural. It sounds a little coarse. Honestly, it sounds kind of like a. Um, and this is not a bad thing, but it, it wasn't something I was expecting from a Jaguar. At certain speeds, it sounds like a. Uh, WRX or an STI with an aftermarket exhaust because it has this uh, bassiness to it at certain speeds. 
But when you put it in dynamic mode and you really get on it, it has this, uh, this nice um, hop and burble to it, which I wasn't expecting. Another great thing about this uh, particular F-Type is even though it's an entry-level model, as equipped, it, it's got a few options on it. As equipped, it's $65,000. And it's in a conservative white color. This is, you know, in terms of color and aero add-ons and all that kind of stuff, not a very flashy car, but it doesn't matter because even though this is the entry-level model, it still has the same beautiful basic shape of other more powerful, more expensive F-types. People see this, they gravitate toward it. It's got these beautiful lines, the nice flared hips, the uh, fast, graceful, sloping roof line, the bobbed rear end, the scalpel-like taillights. It's a beautiful car, no matter what price point it's at. All right, well, if you enjoyed what you saw, uh, be sure to uh, subscribe and like this video and uh, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.